<clears throat> okay. Let's do a, a problem where we have more than one mass involved in the system. Normally what we do, we have an object on the plane and it's going either to the left or to the right, whatever the case may be, based on forces. However, what we have here is a mass 16 kilograms and a mass 8 kilograms. And it's going to go, the whole, the whole system is connected by a string with a tension. So it's going to go like this, okay? The whole thing's going to go like that, together. Yes? What is the mass of the system, for instance? What's the mass of the system? Anybody? 24 kilograms, right. So the first thing we're going to do is, before we even think about the problem, let's get some facts on the board, okay? Put the facts right here. 0.23 is the coefficient of friction. Fw, we'll call this 1, we'll call this 2, okay? So this weight will be 80 newtons. F weight 2 will be 160 newtons. Fn 1 will be what? Let's go. Get out your, you're going to have to get out your calculators. So it's going to be what? The Fn and Fp of this I want and Ff. Okay. What's that going to be? So let's do the Fn. FP1, FF1. So this one's going to be 80 cosine 37. The angle is 37. 64. So this will be 64. Is that correct? Do we have a verification on that? Yes? Okay. And then what's FP going to be? It'll be sine 37. So it'll be 80 sine 37, which is what? 48, and then what is 0.23 times 64 for FF? Uh, 14.72. What is it? 14.72. 14.72. 17. 14.7 is good. Okay, now, what we need to do, this is what we need to do. We need to know what is the acceleration of the system. What is that system going to accelerate at? How do we, how do we know what to do? What is the system going to accelerate at? Yeah, this is going to accelerate everything. Okay? That's going to accelerate everything. We know that this is 1 and this is 2. Okay? We also have to know what's the tension here. What's the tension? The tension is going to go up, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. We also have to know the tension. It's a hint. So I need to know the acceleration. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this tape. This will be double mass system problem one, part one, and then part two. I want you to work on this problem a little bit to see if you can come up with some kind of understanding. Then part two is going to be, we're going to write in the, we're going to write in the uh, free body diagram, and then part three is we'll actually solve it. Clear? We're off.